As part of the build-up for the 2023 general election, the National Rescue Movement, NRM, have successfully conducted the 2022 National Convention on Wednesday, March 30th in Abuja. It will be recalled that following the dissolution of the executive committees at all levels of the party structure, a national caretaker committee of the party was constituted in December 2021. With the emergence of new party officials, the National Rescue Movement, NRM, hopes to begin intra-party activities for the emergence of aspirants in the 2023 general elections in Nigeria. The party has said no sacrifice will be too much to kick out the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, describing them as Siamese twins of Nigerian politics. Joining us now from Abuja Studios are two newly elected officers of the party to tell us how they intend to move the party forward ahead of the 2023 elections. They are Chigoze Ude, National Chairman, National Rescue Movement, and Olushala Afuye, National Publicity Secretary of the party. Good morning, sirs, and thank you for joining us. Morning. You're welcome. Good morning. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, well, good morning. Morning. Good, good morning, Abati. Good morning. Well, let's say first uh, congratulations on the successful completion of your national convention, uh, National Rescue Movement. But I would like to ask, um, what are your prospects? Because it looks like the space is dominated more or less by the PDP and the APC, the two leading political parties in Nigeria. But since 2018, you have remained uh, steadfast. Steadfast. What are your chances this time around? I, I, I should take that on my national chairmanship. Okay, national chairman. Yeah, uh, good morning once again. Yes, yes, my brother. Um, yeah, we are ready. The National Rescue Movement, NRM, is the political party all Nigerians have been waiting for. And uh, to go be the glory, we have arrived. And uh, we have all every chances to win 2023 presidential election and other elections in the country. Yeah, in addition to that, I, we saw this we, we saw this coming for a long time, that Nigeria is drifting. And as it stands today, the level at which Nigeria is drifting today is very unbearable. Even the babies in the womb, they can attest to the fact that Nigeria is becoming unbecoming, unbearable. We cannot just fold our hands and watch things slide further than this. We, we started this Rescue Nigerian project as far as 2018 is concerned. We, we have people of like minds that come together that we need to rescue this country. But quite unfortunate today, the two major political parties, as the, as the case may be, the way they tag themselves, you have just mentioned their name, they, they, they have not joined us in this project, Rescue Nigeria. We ask them, what are they trying to rescue? From who are they rescuing it from? But we are focused. We are calling well meaningful Nigerians to join this cause and sign and come on platform. Come and join this project. So for once, we can make Nigeria a better place. We have had our convention, a convention that had a lot of people across the country. We never hired crowd. We had dedicated, formidable, and robust membership across the length and breadth of Nigeria. We are saddled with responsibility to pull this through, and we know, in the course of our evangelism, because we are going to use what we call Jehovah's Witness approach by meeting Nigerians that are more concerned to come out, out of this quagmire we find ourselves as a nation. We don't need to talk too much. Everybody knows what is going on in the country. And they want a better life. It is high time, using this opportunity, to call Nigeria, home and abroad, to join this crusade. It's a project, Rescue Nigeria. Thank you. Right, yeah, thank you. 
Let's talk about the process for have, getting your presidential flag bearer. How far along are you in that process and how are you approaching it? Are you also considering the issue of zoning as the two major political parties in this country are doing? I'll start with you, Mr. Uday, then I'd like to hear from you, Mr. Fouye. Yeah, I, I want to lay a background. If you look at the Nigerian constitution vividly, there is a particular portion that says, life should be better and fairer for all Nigerians, irrespective of the circumstances of your birth. You have the potential, and you have opportunity to attain your full potential. In NRM, in the National Rescue Movement, we are not too much concerned. What is before us is how to rescue this country from where we find ourselves. We don't know. Maybe you, it will be you, Tundu, that will be the arrowhead of our presidential election come 2023. We don't know if it's going to be Ruben Abati. All we know is that once you share the same spirit of brotherhood, unity, and it ready to, to, to put the people of this country at the, at, at, at the front of the front burner of your policy, whereby you are going to have rule of law, respect for people, and above all, ability to share the resources of this country equally. That is what is going to be our standard. My chairman has the floor, please. Yes. Um, uh, we have... Um, Decided uh, as my national public secretaries have said, national rescue movement we are focusing on rescuing the Nigerians from the state of stagnancy. And uh, when you talk about zoning. The concern of national rescue movement is to ensure that a credible candidate emerges from our primaries election and uh, the person that has the same ideology, the person that has what Nigerians are desirous of and what is that? Total rescue. We are in the rescue mission assignment. So when you talk of zoning, we are mindful of that. But our major concern is to give Nigerians someone that has fear of God, someone that believes that every policy that will be implemented is a policy that is people-oriented and not just a policy of his choice or her choice, okay. but a policy that will change the narratives of our great country, Nigeria. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Chairman. A lot of people say your party, NRM, is just a special purpose vehicle for maybe one of the big politicians that do, that do not get tickets in the big parties. And some will say, we'll prove it to you. How? On the 10th of February, something happened. Your party in Bayelsa State collapsed its structure into the PDP. In fact, the party chairman came and said that your party doesn't exist, it's now part of the PDP. So when you say you want to kick out APC and PDP, and your party collapses structure into the PDP in Bayelsa states. Hence, what people say that you are just an SPV for maybe any top politician that doesn't get the top ticket from any of the big parties, then they can run on your platform. What's happening? Chairman first, then you can answer after to, set, to, set the, to set the record straight, there was never a time where our party in Bayelsa ever collapsed structure to support any other political party. Okay. Uh, At every election, we have always been showing strength. I can give you, I can give you a, a reference. A lot of election in 2019. Hello, sir. Can I give you a reference? You can read the okay. Daily Post Come of on. NG. 
It was written on the 10th of February 2022. It says 2023 election, National Rescue Movement Party collapses structure into PDP in Bayelsa State. It was written by Akam James. You could check that up as a reference. You know, you know, as at that point in time, many of these big politicians that has money to play around, they can put anything there in the press because they are looking for sympathy. As I'm telling you, as at that time you are talking, I was the national youth leader of, the same part of this party, National Rescue Movement. That's to tell you that I know exactly everything that transpired during that election. There was never a time we have to collapse our structure into this party of these people. We know where our problems are coming from. We know our enemies. We know where, this, where we have, where Nigeria has been reduced to this lowest in the history of the world. We don't want to have anything to do with this set of people. So why, do we, why, why should we collapse our structure? Because of what? There was never a time where P, PDP or, AC, or APC, whichever party you want to mention, who can come to us and say that we have ever collapsed our structure in, to, to, to their structure because of the election. No. We have always shown strength, ruggedity, show every, give any election what it takes to win any election. But you know how it is run in this country, that if you don't have money to throw around, it is most difficult for you to win election. But thank God, by the new electoral hack that we have on ground, that has given power to Beaver's machine, whereby Nobody can vote for anybody in prosy. You have to be there physically as a card card, as the person that owns the PVC before you can vote. Days gone are the days where voters' ballot paper were being trumpeted because the people that are supposed to use the ballot paper are not around. Now things have changed. We hope the high neck, the way it's going now they can come out and implement the, all the laws that has been laid down in the Electoral Act for us to have a credible, sincere election in this country. Then you will know that NRM has always had strength. We don't need and we never collapse our structure into any political party. Uh, Chairman, sir, this uh, statement I'm talking about in the Daily Post, NG, was signed by Mr. Kenny K. Ambare, who led other executive of the party to the special advisor to the governor on political matters in Yenegua. So, Chairman, do you know anything about this uh, Mr. Kenny K. Ambare, that's said to be the chairman of the party in the states that collapsed the structure of the NRM in Bielsa into the PDP? Well, I, my brother, anybody can try to make sure he is noticed. I think uh, as we are discussing him now, that is the achievement of that, uh, that uh, publication. He wants you to know him. He wants Abati to know him. He wants to be, on the, be in the news. And he's now in the news as you are now pre presenting him for, for presenting what he has written in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the media to be a point of discussion. But we are not distracted. We are not perturbed. Uh, what he has written is false, and nothing but false. Do you know him? Do you NRM know Mr. Kenny Ambare? State. Do you know the man in question, Mr. Kenny let, let, sorry, Ambare? So, Do you so, know him? So, sorry, Mr. Chairman. Let, let, let me tell you something. You can go back and check your record. You can do your further investigation by approaching INEC to let you see the name of our chairman during that period and today. Our, the name of our chairman in Bayelsa is Honorable Akim Mika. And as of today, he has been returned as a chairman. Yes. So I don't know where that name is coming from. It's just to let you know that Bayelsa is one of our strongholds where we have large followers. Anybody at any point in time, through their mischievous act, action, might want to read for why they did not sow. Because he knows that we have the pool of solo follower that can determine the outcome of any election in Bielsa. That is why they feel bringing our name close to their body will give them 
a result during that election. We don't know that name you have called. He has never been our chairman in Bayelsa. As it stands today, Akim Maka was our chairman during that period, and he's still our chairman oh, today. OK, gentlemen, points were made. But I'd like to ask you uh, two additional questions. Is there any connection between the Rescue Nigeria Project? There's a group called Rescue Nigeria Project. It was founded, I think, in 2021, and your party. Uh, you came much earlier, 2017, then you got your certificate of registration registration in 2018. There are many groups that want to rescue Nigeria. So are you also talking to those groups if Rescue Nigeria Project is not part of your own uh, you know, effort? Now, secondly, I'd like you to explain to me your logo, the logo of your party. It looks like a mosquito, a no a mosquito to me. Mosquitoes uh, suck blood. <laughs> are you proposing to suck Nigerian blood? Why the mosquito? I know, Felix, because uh, we don't like mosquitoes. I, I, I mean, I'm scared of mosquitoes. You want to give us malaria? Can I address that? Th th thank you for that question. You know, let me go straight to the, that is what is more important. That is the, the symbol of our party is Onibi. And you know what Onibi stands for? Oni, Onibi is, is a symbol of unity, brotherhood share prosperity. And you know, when you look at the medicinal value, attributes, quality of honey, there's no how wicked you are. And if you taste honey, you have to swallow it. No matter how it is, you have to swallow it. That's to tell you, we are using that symbol to let Nigeria know that there is no other party than to accept us. If you look, these bees, they come together to work together. And when you know where they have their heave, where they produce this honey in large quantity, you will not know which, which exactly honey, the bee that produce the largest or that produce the smallest. Honey is honey. And whichever part of that honey you taste is going to give you the same taste all through. We are telling Nigerians that we can come together irrespective of our birth, irrespective of where we are coming from. We can come together and nest resources, work, have a pulse where everybody can get his share equally, equally. And we tell you that we come, when we form this synergy, when only, only bees form synergy, they guide against invasion. You hardly see enemy getting in through breaking into where onions are gathered. That's to tell you that they have the mechanism to protect themselves against any form of invasion. That is how we want Nigerians to look like. Anywhere you go to in the land of this country, we want a kind of to feel so protected in Lagos. We okay. want somebody in Lagos to go okay, to San Farah uh, and feel okay. at home. Okay, that sir. is what we are talking about. Thank, thank you so much, and thank you so much, you know, for explaining that it's a honeybee, not a mosquito. So my, that's the my, I'm my sorry we have to, to go, add, sir, because of time. We something. appreciate you. Thank you so I much. Know, I want to ask something there. Uh, we are, we are, okay. okay, if you can do it in 30 seconds. Please go ahead, sir. Yes, now you can understand that what we have as our logo is B and no mosquito. Yeah. Well, please take another look and at the drawing know, so that it can be exact. Of B, is greater than any value okay. of any Thank animal you so much, in the world. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.